hell? I was thinking about getting one of these too. I really was. Oh my God. I'm glad I didn't. My gigantism would have been on all on display on Facebook and on the internet for people to see. I was cursed with gigantism on one particular body part. Wouldn't want the world to see that. Now, it says here, your Roomba, I always call him Robovex, <laughs> may put pictures of your family using the bathroom on the internet. How could that, how is that a defect? Ha I guess anything with a damn internet connection and a camera associated with it or a mic could put something on the internet. Which actually makes sense if they can be hacked. According to a recent report, from the MIT Technology Review, a woman's Roomba robot vacuum cleaner recently took pictures of her on the toilet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And somehow the photos ended up on Facebook. Shared by gig workers on a foreign, in a foreign country. The MIT Technology Review recently reported that during the autumn of 2020, a group of gig workers based in Venezuela posted various pictures on online platforms where they discussed work-related matters. The images, some of which were related, of which were often immature in nature, showed scenes from inside homes taken from a low perspective. My God. It says here, Roomba by iRobot, which has stated may sell maps of users' homes. It says that under this picture. In one, <laughs> in one shot, a young woman can be seen sitting on a toilet with their shorts pulled down to mid-thigh, the images were taken by her Roomba J7 Series Robot Vacuum by iRobot. The photos were sent by iRobot to Scale AI, a startup that contracts workers to label audio, photo, and video data to train artificial intelligence. Amazon is in the process of acquiring iRobot, <laughs> driven by an insatiable lust to hoover up every last shred of its customers' data. Internet-connected devices captured photos and videos like this, send them back to the cloud for review. However, earlier this year, the MIT Technology Review obtained 15 screenshots of the private photos that were supposed, wait, wait, that were posted to closed groups on social media sites like Facebook. Breitbart News has reported extensively on the fact that big tech's employees and contractors eavesdrop on customers, such as Amazon employees and contractors sharing Alexa's recordings in groups. That's why I ain't got no damn election in my house. And I'm always keeping track of my phone and where it's at too because I'll be having conversations or watching TV and all of a sudden the phone wakes up. Phone's just listening. Hey! Hey, what'd you say there? Huh? What you talking about? Huh? It's always some Google search shit. The photos in the series differed in terms of of both subject matter and the amount of personal information they disclose. The most private images were reported by the MIT Technology Review where a set of video frames featuring a young woman on the toilet with her face obscured in the main image but visible in the following. See, I was just about to say, well, 
At least it just showed her legs and her feet and her shorts. At least it didn't show her face. I was just about to say at least it didn't show her face. Oh my god. Low resolution shots. Another photo showed a child estimated to be around eight or nine years old lying on its stomach on a hallway floor, which kids do, with a triangle of disheveled hair falling over its forehead. The child's face was clearly visible and he seemed to be seemed something amusing as he looked at the camera which was positioned just below his line of sight. In a statement to MITT Technology Review, iRobot explained that the people shared by contractors on social media knew they were being recorded. Okay. iRobot, the world's largest vendor of robotic vacuums, which Amazon's recently acquired for $1.7 billion, in a pending deal, confirmed that these images were captured by its Roombas in 2020. All of them came from special development robots with hardware and software modifications that are not and never were present on iRobot consumer projects for purchase. The company said in a statement they were given uh, to uh, paid collectors and employees who signed written agreements, acknowledgments, that they were sending data streams, including video, back to the company for training purposes. According to iRobot, the devices were labeled with a bright screen sticker that read video recording in process. And it was up to all those paid data collectors to remove anything they deemed sensitive from the space that the robots operate in, in including children. Well, if that's all true, then, I, I mean, I, if you knew, first of all, if they didn't know, holy shit, it's a lot of lawsuit money, but if they did know, then, I mean, it is what it is. Why, why go to the bathroom when you know that you're being paid, you got an agreement here, you signed it, that your robot's streaming stuff to, to people that are going to see it. You know what I mean? I mean, unless you were a freak like that and you want, you knew exactly what you were doing, you know. And you know, if they got kids, they're getting paid. Of course, the robot's gonna see the kids playing around and everybody else doing what they do in life. So, but that's wild. That's wild. My here's my only issue: a lot of shit can be hacked. If the government can be hacked, you can be hacked. A lot of stuff can be hacked. So it's like, well. If somebody wanted to, could they theoretically do it? You know what I mean? I I can't remember what what, what they said. Like it was like um, as uh, had development robots up with hardware and software modifications that are not and never were present on. Okay, so as long as they don't have the hardware, in other words, a camera, uh, I assume that even if they did have the software, it wouldn't work. So. I don't know, but God. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to buy one. After all, I have a Scarlo in the house. Uh, the vacuum the vacuums once a week, so yeah. Oof, let me know what y'all think. You getting one? 10 million subscribers. Woo!